So, really, what's the takeout for anyone uh, who's just watching this right now and saying, wow, that's, that's amazing. So, what is it they can be doing to optimise the child's growth at this really critical stage? Mm -hmm. um, they can certainly be touching them, holding them, moving them. They can also be interacting with them. So just rolling around on the floor with them, picking the brick up with them, taking it off them. You know how babies love to do things a hundred times and it's the same thing. That's mirror neurons, but that's them laying down those tracks you were talking about of learning. So learning is, is laying down the roadway of that's how you do it, that's how you do it. Because if you think about it, the babies are also connecting up all of their nerves on all of their muscles at the same time. So they're not only building the ones that let them figure out it's a brick, how to pick it up, gravity. They're also figuring out how to move each finger, how to move their arm. Right. And so it's just an incredible, because every, every part of that hasn't been mapped yet. You know, we're building a map every single minute. Right. And the babies are clean sheet. Yeah. You know, we're this huge, dense network. Yeah. So that's why for them, they're working so hard, just picking up a brick. Yeah. They're working really hard, but they're loving it because they're connecting so much into their emotional areas that if you interact with your baby, it's why they're so happy. They they, they adore it, yeah. and, you know, more openly at that time than at any other time of your life. Right, and so I'm also interested to know what about in terms of when you're interacting with the child and, you know, moving and, um, you know, picking up objects, putting them in their hand. Um, how important is communication in that process to explain what you're doing to them? How, how does that help? Yep. There's two types of, of areas there. So there's communicating, most of communication with, the, with a little baby is the sound of your voice and, and the look of your face. Because what you're communicating to them is that they're safe and that you love them. Mm -hmm. So the communication is about trust, mm -hmm. which, because that gets back to neurons again. If you don't trust somebody, cortisol stops the, the, the growth of, of neurons completely. Right. Blocks it. Really? Yep. You right. cannot lay down one dendrite if you're feeling stressed and you don't trust someone. Mm -hmm. Which is why, as an adult even, if you don't believe your boss, you don't ever grow that new picture in your head because cortisol, that's it. Maybe you won't believe them. Right, okay. <laughs> so as a baby, the big thing is is the warmth and the comfort of your your mum's and your dad's voice and their face because facial cues are really important to them. If with a little baby, if you if you put it in for even toddlers, if you put them in front of a, a screen that has a nice a picture and then you have a horrible voice, say, right. behind that screen, they will physically turn away because the two different messages, they, they, they know they don't match. They pick that right. up, even at that age, three months, right. they pick that up. Right. What we do is we look at it and we, we you know, we we think it through, we, we overlay our judgement on it. They haven't done that yet. They just know there's two things that don't mesh at that young age. Hmm. So they go and do something else. But if it was matching, they'd be drawn towards it. Right. So what you're doing is you're building up comfort and trust. Because very soon, when you want to get into knowledge, and of course you, you talk to them and you, you name things, um, again, building those, those, um, those I guess railways of information is that consistent hundred times this is a block, hundred times that's an A, thousand million times. Yep. Because you just do it. So repetition is Repetition is important. Is important. It's yep. very important. Um, but you don't expect them to have logic because they, a, a brain cooks from the back forward. Right. So the, the ancient brain, which is about fight, flight, trust, not trust, is the first thing that develops. Mm -hmm. And over 25 years, <laughs> it comes forward until the last part that develops is the frontal part, which is where reasoning is. Right. Which is why we get teenagers in such a lot of trouble, because they've got all the middle bit, which is risk and adrenaline, right. but they haven't got the reasoning. <laughs> right. So a little baby, you know, you, you can't explain this is wood and wood's made out of such and such, woods mean nothing, but they'd love it anyway, because they've got your attention. Mm. And so they're wrapped because they'll listen to the voice. So you still do it. I still I explained everything. When when I was carrying my baby and there was a um, a plane, I would say that's a plane. Planes work because of such and such. I knew perfectly well it made no difference, but it was a soothing voice. Yes. And and that was the connection. And so it's very subtle. There's many levels. You, you're never just explaining something to a baby for knowledge. 
at that point you're explaining it for the connection, the interconnection between you and the baby and what that does mm. in the sound of your voice. Right, okay. So look, that is, that's great. So thank you so much for that, Fiona. There's, there's so much more we can talk about on this. And in fact, um, uh, Fiona has agreed to be able to come back and not probably face to face because you'll be back in Australia and I'll be in San Francisco. Um, but to share more of her knowledge, not just with, with infants and kids, for you dads out there and mums, uh, but also um, talk about um, the brain uh, in the workplace as well, uh, which is kind of like my field. And um, love to be able to share you know, how the brain functions during times of conflict and stress. And once you have an understanding of that, you can get a better appreciation of how you respond and how you could respond more effectively in, in those type of situations. So, Maybe if there's questions, we can put them Yeah, and if there are any questions, yes, yeah, certainly send them through. Uh, website again is aplayermaker.com and um, look forward to hearing uh, any questions that you have. Uh, so please send them through. And Fiona, thanks again so much. You're welcome. See you guys. Young dads. <laughs>